today I will show you show all of the people who are watching this video um, what Microsoft update looked like for Windows XP and since Microsoft will be getting rid of Microsoft update on, or they're ending support for Windows XP on April 8th of 2014 um, this is what it looked like and as you can see it is January 5th so okay. so I'm going to go to Microsoft update it's checking if my computer has the latest version of Microsoft updating stuff um, the ActiveX thing so as review your update history and change settings frequently asked questions get help and support use administrator options I will do um, custom to choose my updates now it's checking for the latest updates to my computer automatic updates are turned on copyright 2012 Microsoft Corporation It always takes a while, so I'll just pause it, and then when it's ready, I'll... I think it's ready soon. I don't know. I'll um, restore the video when it's ready. Okay, so now, as you can see, the Windows update is now ready. It's now ready. Uh, total one update selected. 381.7 megabytes. It'll take 14 minutes for it to install, and it has high pro uh, high priority update selected. Service Pack 2 for Microsoft Office 2010 32-bit edition uh, software. Let's see what's under optional. Um, Security Essentials update. Yeah. Um. Now I don't want to do the SQL server. Um, nothing under Windows XP. No high priority. Mm, security essentials. There's one. Office. There's one SQL server. There's one. I think it installed that when I installed. Um, See. Visual Basic 2010 Express. Okay, um, customize your results. And they have quick links, home and worldwide up there. And then there's a link to Microsoft.com. And terms of use, trademarks, and privacy statement. Um, review and install updates. Yes, install updates. Now it's installing, downloading them installed. They're now, the updates are being downloaded and installed. It's almost done downloading because it's already been downloading it. Downloading updates 57%. And you can't click out here because it makes it blink. That's why sometimes when I'm on Microsoft Update I make the make it as small as I can and then I can and then I click on install updates so that I it's not using the whole screen. Or I'll just click on the show desktop button on the quick access toolbar. And I will uh, pause this for now and then come back when it's done.